thought, you know, I'd be playing such an iconic role. And it's awesome. Like, she's so cool and she's so empowering. And, like, she really does not care what people think about her. Like, she knows who she is and she loves who she is. And I think she's very independent. Like she takes care of her kid, her her kids, her siblings, um, and she doesn't have any parents anymore. Like they're gone. So um, she's just a very strong woman. So it's very unnatural the way that they talk, walk, and obviously being like these cowboy type characters also affects how I deliver lines and whatnot. <laughs> Sometimes I like catch myself outside of rehearsals slipping into my like. Western dialect and stuff. The time period takes like a very important role and um, things were way different back then but I think there are also a lot of parallels to now um, and like the way people treat Annie for being such a strong woman um, like they kind of look at her like she's crazy because back then that didn't exist at all um, and that's like really inspirational. I think now things are starting to change a little bit but there really isn't much of a difference in the fact that like women still now are working towards like being more powerful and like more, I don't know, I just think she's very inspirational in that way. She's not normal, but, and I think she knows that, but she's not, actually, I don't know. I think that she's not afraid of it. She, um, especially her dynamic between like her and Frank, like, he has a lot of problems with that more than she does, of, like, her being better than him. But she just accepts it. She knows that that's, the, like, it's fact that she is the best. I've seen productions online from other schools. Um, I didn't, I stayed away from the movie until, like, the show was cast because I wanted to stick to the stage version and what have you. But that's all I really knew about it before going into this because typically if I don't know a show as much before going into it, I get what I need to know and then go into it because I want the process to be as much as a, of a learning and discovery process as it is just translating what I know about the show onto the stage. So as I'm learning these words, as I'm learning these dialogue, as I'm learning this history, it's in the process of the rehearsals. So it goes hand in hand and it like translates to me easier into my character and onto the stage. It all kind of like comes together nicely because of the like 150th anniversary and the show and the time period and then the fact that right outside of the theater they're having this giant extravaganza and this fireworks and all these crazy stuff going on. And then we get to sing there and then kind of lead back into here where then we, it's hopefully when the crowd follows us here they'll come back into our world, into our show now, from the show that was Courtman's. And then it translates in here and they get to see this whole big extravaganza and fireworks and this, that, and everything on stage. So I think it is very different. It's not going to give us that whole sitting in the dressing room, like focusing in, getting ready for the show, but it kind of gets us ready for the show in a different way because the characters that were going to be out there are going to be just what we need to put on the stage too. So it works out perfectly, it's really cool I think. It's gonna take some of the nerves out of it because you're kind of seeing your audience before they're seeing you, kind of a thing. And um, I think that if we're having fun with them beforehand, like that'll just make them more excited to be there when the show is actually going on. And I think that um, what a lot of people don't really think about the fact that the audience plays such a big part of how a show runs that night and an excited and like happy audience and intrigued audience is so amazing to perform for. When you think of a musical, you think of something that's gonna lift your spirits and it's gonna make you happy and you are gonna take something away from it, but like you wanna laugh and you wanna have a good time, like you wanna be entertained. And I think that the show entertains you and it could entertain your entire family.